What's up everybody? Welcome back to this tutorial. Today what we're going to show you how to do is how to actually do on-page SEO. Just We're going to walk you through some of the basics. There is Smart Crawl Pro and this is the plugin WPMU Dev has to where you can really do SEO well and it's simple and it's on-page basic. It loads fast. But the most people, what most people are going to use is Yoast SEO, and that's what we're going to show you in this demo because it's readily available and it's free. So when you're in your dashboard, you want to go to plugins, go down to add, and we're going to search for Yoast SEO. And this is the plugin we're looking for. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install Yoast SEO. The only downside to Yoast even though there's a lot of amazing things that come along with it, as you can see by the install time, is that it's a it's a relatively large plugin. Now it's pretty big. It does take a little while to load. We're going to go ahead and activate it. And you'll see Yoast also has a premium version, which allows for multiple keywords and just some some extra features. Most of you out there are going to find that. The free version is just fine. It's more than enough. So we're going to go back to one of these pages that we did where we designed a clean blog grid using Divi. And we're going to select edit. And this is what you're going to see with Yoast and what it brings to the table is that it gives you the ability to add in some keywords, change the slug, and it gives you just some different options here. So this is the Yoast section. And you can see it's got the basics from WordPress and you don't have metadata and it gives you some statistics here, readability, key phrase, all that. If you hit edit snippet, you're going to see that the title by default is based on the, the way you've got WordPress set up. So we've got the title, which is this page title, with the separator, and then the site title. So this is KLM demos. You can add in between here. So if I wanted to add anything here we could add stuff here you know you can just change it as you want you can delete all of these and create your own title change the slug you can add in custom data it gives you this so you want to make sure it's long enough You can customize all of this. I'm not sure that makes sense, but whatever. You get the idea. You can put in your metadata. You put in your SEO. And as you update, and you can come back in. It's going to give you updated, uh, just updated statistics on this page, which is really cool. You know, we've got a keyword phrase. We can go down here, add in a keyword. It could be blog grid. And then there's a ton of other information here. You know, there's outbound links, the text length is not long enough, the images don't have alt attributes, you know, key phrase in the introduction. There's a bunch of things that it'll give you down here that show you what you need to do to make your page analysis better. And you can go through and do that on every single page, every single post, and it's going to help Google really search and find the content that works best. There's also this social tab where you can change the Facebook title. So if someone shares this to Facebook, you can change that, the description and the image, and you can do the same for Twitter. And then there's the advanced, which gives you a few more options. And in the basic version of, of Yoast, this is pretty much it. You know, it's going to give you the ability to really set the information that you want Google to see. It's a great way to get your 
product found. It's a great way to get your content found. And it just, it just works. So I highly recommend Yoast SEO or, you know, all in one SEO or Smart Crawl Pro, any of those, but absolutely 100% put an SEO plugin on your website. Take the time to go through and make sure your feature images are in place, that you're planning ahead on, on your posts or your page titles, making sure that there's clear metadata, that the keywords are set, and this will all play a part in the greater picture of making sure that your SEO is strong and that your site can be found not only just for visibility's sake, but that it can be found to help create you as an authority on the topic. So we hope that this has been really, really helpful for you. Again, we thank you so much for coming back each and every week, supporting the channel. We hope if you really like this, if you're on YouTube, you know, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so each week you'll know we put out that new tutorial. Um, if you're listening to this on our website and you're watching this video on the website, drop a comment below. Let us know what you thought of the video. We appreciate you. We hope you have a great week and we'll catch you in the next tutorial.